We're going to try something new. We're going to do calculating empirical formulas from percent composition. So we're given this um, with all these percent compositions for each element. We have four elements here, right here, all these four. And we're looking for the empirical formula. So for step one, we want to find out how many grams of each element is in within 100 grams of the compound. And we want to use 100 grams of the compound so that we can easily convert these percentages to grams. So here, um, we were able to easily convert it. We have 65.02% of the plutonium, or no, platinum, and we were able to easily convert it to 65.0 grams of platinum, and so forth with nitrogen, hydrogen, and chloride. And uh, of course, we have this image right here that will help you easily um, go through the process of um, calculating empirical forms. So first, we want to look at the percents given of the, each element. We want to convert it to the grams of each element, and then convert it to moles of each element, and finally get your ratio and uh, get your empirical formula at the end. So that's how we can, uh, that's the process of doing that. And so again, that's, uh, we'll go to step two of convert, of getting to our empirical formula. And that's where we convert to this grams, all these grams that we have now, to moles. So to do that, we'll take our, our grams and we want to convert it, uh, multiply it by the molar mass of uh, platinum and we'll get the moles. And we do that for each element and we'll get these values. And okay. And but on the exam, um, definitely you want to um, not write it in this format with just in one line. You want to break it up so that it's clearly visible what's on top and bottom when you're doing that. So for example, let's do the first one. We have we want to write a 65.02 grams. And we want to multiply that out and show what's on top clearly, one mole, and we want to show clearly on what's on the bottom, 195.08 grams. And of course, you want to eventually equal that to get your value in moles. And also, don't forget to put the elements, its elemental identity. So we have platinum here, but we want to make sure it has platinum at each section also. Now we will continue on trying to find our empirical formula. So out of all, of all four uh, values of the moles, which one is the smallest value of the mole? So comparing all four, which one's the smallest? So take your time now and uh, maybe choose and think about which one has the smallest value between the four elements given. Okay, so if you, um, if you look at the next step, we're trying to find the ratio, so of course you want to Think of the number of moles for each atom or element. Um, so, but dividing it by the smallest mole value. So, and the um, okay, sorry, I think you can't say that. So, if we're um, this is the work we would have for um, getting the ratio of our empirical formula. We would take each element, um, platinum, nitrogen, hydrogen, and chloride, and divide it by the smallest mole from the compound. And um, that's, in this case, platinum. So we're dividing by 0.3333, and then we'll get our a ratio, which is uh, luckily in whole numbers, so you don't have to do anything extra. And then um, you'll get the ratio as this, and our empirical formula is this for that uh, compound.